this is a fully modified uh, 70s D28. Yeah, the second guitar I've worked on for this customer. This one came to me, uh, the other one was in really bad shape. This one was in pretty good shape, the neck was all, uh, already off, and, and um, that's about it. And it just needed the standard stuff. So it got Grover, 18 to 1 tuners, um, polished the headstock up, got a bone nut. It got five new frets. The rest of them are really good, but these uh, first five had some dents in them, but the rest of them are full height, so I just left them. We got the neck put on, and I'll get to that in a minute. You got a popsicle brace taken out. I got an enlarged sound hole. He gave me free reign to do whatever I wanted to on this one, including a large sound hole. So I went ahead and did a large sound hole because his other guitar has the normal sound hole. So whenever somebody has uh, two guitars that are similar, I try to make the second one different from the first one. So like recently, I've gotten um, a D41, and the customer already has a D28. So I made the 41 just a little different. I used an Amazon Rosewood bridge plate on it. Um, just a few things here and there. I did a Sunburst D28 and a Natural D28 for customer. The Sunburst one had already had the braces partially scalloped by someone else. So I finished the scalloping, and so he ended up with a scallop. Um, no popsicle brace, and an Amazon Rosewood bridge plate, you know, that stuff. On the second D28, I did not scallop it, and I used a maple bridge plate. And I took the popsicle brace out because he had cracks along the fingerboard, which I had to fix. So, so there's two different kinds of guitars, you know. And you might very well like one better than the other, but the, you're going to find a use for the second one that's different. If you would just let it be what it wants to be. So, this guy, this customer, uh, the other D28 had the scalp bracing, I'm pretty sure, but it has a regular sound hole. So, I went ahead and enlarged the sound hole on this one, and this guitar has the Amazon Rosewood bridge plate in it, whereas this other one has a maple. So, I've been using the Amazon Rosewood some, but. Um, it's it's fun. It's different. It's not a uh, maple and black locust are kind of like a vanilla sound. They're clear, crisp, but vanilla. And the Amazon rosewood or Brazilian rosewood or Southeast Asian rosewood or Honduran rosewood, any kind of good quality rosewood is going to add a tone to the guitar. And it's a little bit like, you know, a lot of people like the 70s, uh, they get along pretty good with the big rosewood bridge play, but I don't. Uh, I, I miss the response, and the Indian rosewood is dull sounding. So you kind of go that direction, but you get a brighter, crisper, meatier sound with it. I ran one in, my, in the shop D35, and man, gosh, I like that. It just had such a um, powerful, meaty sound to it. It definitely flavors the tone though. It's not, it's, you know, it's not a light, little delicate, it's not a pre-war sound. Let's put it that way, okay? It's not a pre-war sound. It is something else. <laughs> there's, a, there's a period in the late 60s when Martin used a small Brazilian rosewood bridge plate and that's the kind of sound. Also there's a um, a video of me with a 65 D21 that belonged to the Buck Ramsey. And I had that guitar for two years and played it and thought it was just a powerhouse guitar. Well, when I finally got it into work on a couple of years ago, I discovered that it had a massive bridge plate double over here. And it was Brazilian Rosewood, which was why it still sounded pretty good. I took out most of that, but I could not get it all. But anyway, I left. A Brazilian rosewood bridge plate in it because that guitar had given me that kind of tone, um, and I wanted to keep that. So I've been using these uh, fancy rosewood bridge plates a little bit, and I'm kind of liking what I hear, but it definitely does have a flavor. So because this is a different guitar than the other one, I wanted to make it different, you know, really different. So it's got, and I've never done this combination. I've never done a combination of a large sound hole and a rosewood bridge plate. 
And it's a small rosary, you know, I mean, it's a small, you know, rosary. In fact, this one's pretty small. And that's what we got here. Scout the braces, uh, scooted the bridge back to get the intonation, of course. And then it's got Galilith uh, bridge pins from Steve Mac, which is nice, hard, hard plastic. They're just like the antique acoustics, except that they uh, got a little bit of grain on them and stuff. But I can't get the antique acoustics anymore, so I've been using quite a bit of these. Got a nice saddle height, not too tall, not too low. Good, perfect saddle height. I left the black pick guard on this one because, first of all, it's been replaced or it's been re-glued. And I don't remember. Maybe I did it. I don't remember, you know. Um... But it's good. It looks good, and I don't mind a black pick card. I mean, you got a, um, you got a black ebony fingerboard. You got a black bridge. There's nothing wrong with a black pick card. It's it's um, classic looking, you know. It's like a, a Telecaster. It's like a black guard Telecaster. There, there's nothing wrong to me with a black pick card, as long as it's you know not warped or anything. And this one looked great. It's been replaced at some time. Either I did it. Or uh, somebody or it came to me. I don't remember, you know. But it's nice and flat. There's no cracks happening. It's, I can see a little bit of glue on the edges. So it's been glued back on, which is perfect. Now I'm leaving it. If the customer says, oh, let's put a 30s pick guard on there. Uh, you know. I guess so. But <laughs> I'd leave it. <laughs> you can't get the 30s color. This guitar has a wonderful neck on it. Uh, man, this is just like the best of the 70s necks right here. Fat, chunky, slight rounded V. Uh, just got the wonderful necks when they're right. Okay, I'm going to compare it with the with a stock, uh, non-modified uh, D28 from the same, pretty much the same era. Okay, and I'll talk about that guitar uh, later on. So here we go, here's the AB comparison.